Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee, and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven Family. The portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verses 22 to 23 from the New Living Translation, and it reads as follows. Don't rob the poor just because you can, or exploit the needy in court. For the Lord is their defender. He will ruin anyone who ruins them. Family, isn't that portion of scripture so true? And I believe that this portion of scripture can be applied in two separate ways. The first way, which is the obvious way, is that this portion of scripture is speaking to the wicked, evil people out there who deliberately try to rob from the poor for their own selfish gain and who deliberately try to exploit the needy in court once again for their own selfish gain. In this case, in these instances, the, the Bible is saying when, we, when these people are doing these evil things that the Lord is their defender. The, the, he's the defender of the weak. He's the defender of the poor and widows and orphans and, and the needy and the helpless and all these things. The Lord is our defender family. And if these evil people are coming against God's people, against God's children and robbing from the poor and exploiting the needy and all these kinds of things, the Lord is the greatest avenger. He will serve vengeance and defend those people that are being robbed. If that's you, if that's you that has somebody robbing from you or exploiting you and stuff like that, trust in the Lord to serve vengeance on your behalf. It's not our responsibility to try and fight the battles in our own strength. It is a spiritual battle. And if we fight it in the spiritual realm by handing the battle over to the Lord, we will walk in the victory because when we give the battle to the Lord, the battle is the Lord's and the victory is ours. So we must not try to fight it in our own strength. It says there that the Lord will ruin anyone who ruins them. He serves he serves vengeance at the end of the day, family. These evil, wicked people will reap exactly that which they have sown. There where they've robbed from people, they will be robbed from. There where they've exploited people, they will be exploited as well. And they and, and as it says there, the Lord will even come to the point where he literally ruins them, family. So if that's you and somebody's doing these things to you, trust, hand the battle over to the Lord and know that he will handle it in the best in the best way possible at the appropriate time in the appropriate way and trust in him as the, uh, to serve vengeance and to defend you on your behalf. And if you know somebody that this is happening to, pray it as well for them and say, Lord, this is what you say in your word. That I see that this is happening to this person or this friend, family, loved one, colleague, whatever it may be. Lord, please step in and defend them. Step in and protect them. Step in and fight the battle on their behalf. So that's the first way that this portion of scripture can apply is to the wicked evil people out there. So the second way that this portion of scripture can be applied is to us as Christians. We as Christians can also sometimes rob people or exploit people in certain situations, maybe not as severely as the wicked evil people out there do, but we always, it's it's human nature for us to always want to strike up a bargain and get a good deal. And you know, sometimes we want to buy things or whatever, and the price is already good, but we want to see if we can just barter or bargain that little bit extra off of it. When we're doing that at the end of the day, we're exploiting the person because they've already given us a good price. We're taking advantage of them. And there are many instances and situations where we, where we, without realizing it, even if it's a small thing, sometimes exploit people or take advantage of them. And when we do this, it's displeasing to the Lord for us to do these things, family, because that's not in the character of the Lord. The Lord is a giver. And instead of, you know, trying to get more money taken off of the deal, the Lord is the kind of God that, that doesn't just give what is required, but he gives above and beyond family. And that's where he wants us to be as well. So that's the second way that this portion of scripture can apply is that, um, that it can apply to us as Christians as well when we sometimes steal from people by exploiting them, by trying to get an even better deal than what is required and stuff. Instead, give what is asked. And if you feel led by the Lord, give above and beyond. Because when we do this, it's pleasing to the Lord at the end of the day. But when we are keep, keep reducing the price, we're taking away somebody's money, we're taking away somebody's living, and we're taking advantage of them. And I think in many ways, many of us are guilty of this. So if you are guilty of this, you need to go before the Lord and say, Lord, I've sinned. Please forgive me. Help me to be more aware when I'm doing these things in future. And then obviously going back to the original portion of this or the original um, interpretation of the scripture for the wicked, evil people out there. If you've got them coming against you, pray into that situation and hand the battle over to the Lord and trust him to fight the battle on your behalf. And if you know somebody that's being taken advantage of or exploited, 
pray that the Lord serves vengeance on their behalf as well. And as we do this, the Lord will step in and intervene in these situations. But we also need to make sure that when we do these things that our noses are clear. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you and given you some food for thought. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we just thank you for this day, that this is the day that you've made, and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your word and the advice in your word, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that we know that you are our defender, Lord, that you serve vengeance on our behalf, Lord. And they where wicked, evil people are coming against us, Lord, to exploit us, to rob us, to steal from us, or to destroy anything in our lives. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you are our defender, Lord. You are you serve vengeance on our behalf, Lord, and I pray, Lord, that you will help us to remember to hand the battle over to you instead of trying to fight it in our own strength, Lord, because the battle is yours and the victory is ours in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, there where we know people who are being robbed from and exploited, Lord, I pray, Lord, that you will help us to stand in the gap on their behalf, Lord, so that you too can intervene in that situation, Lord. And I pray, Lord, there where any of us as Christians may have done robbing or exploiting or whatever that is displeasing to you in this manner, Lord, I pray, Lord, that you will help us to become more aware of these things, Lord, so that we can repent of these things, Lord, and stop doing them, Lord, so that we can live in a manner that's pleasing to you, Lord, so that our noses are clean from the situation, so that when people try to do these things to us, Lord, we can pray for the situation and know that we are clean of these things and know that you then go to go to serve justice on our behalf. And we give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the content of the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to help us spread this message and to get it out there to your friends and family so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the content of this video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every day of the week at 7 a.m. Central African time on the Evangelist Matthew Lee Facebook page, as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watched this message and were blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry or to partner with us on a monthly basis, I'd like to ask you to please click on the link in the description description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our Snapscan QR code. And lastly, I'd just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.